Maharaj, you know what? I remember when I told President Premadasa that I had been for the Queen's birthday party the previous evening and something happened. He asked me which Queen. Now that was the UNP, that was Sri Lanka. I'm not even talking about Mahindra Rajapaksa. Uh, but today what happens? We have, as I said, a Prime Minister from a foreign country coming and telling us here what to do. And the BJP in its annual sessions in Bangalore two weeks ago passed a resolution on foreign policy in which it said President Mo uh, Prime Minister Modi was the first Indian Prime Minister to visit Jaffna and he called for Sri Lanka to go beyond the 13th Amendment toward federalism. This is the BJP resolution. We have Tom Malinowski, US Assistant Secretary of State, who visited Sri Lanka, went to the Muletimu beach, knelt down and placed a wreath. Now who died on the Muletimu beach? It was the Tiger leadership that died on the Muletimu beach. We have now moved from the mismanagement of foreign policy in the second term of the Rajapaksa regime to uh, uh, in the opposite direction. I, uh, Iran was talking about uh, markets. Well, he certainly knows something that Larry Summers, former U.S. Secretary to the Treasury and head of the World Bank, didn't know when he wrote last week that the U.S. role as the guarantor of the world economy is called into question by the fact that China has set up the AIIB, the bank, and most of the U.S. allies went against the United States in joining that bank. Dr. Because Jaitri, we have to look at investment sources, not only markets. Dr. Jaitri, Our investments come from China. Dr. Jaitri, we, we all know about uh, this is in the public domain. Uh, you Google it, you have this information available. However, people want to know what's happening in Sri Lanka. Uh, you were the ambassador to uh, Geneva for two years and you did a wonderful job with regard to uh, defeating two resolutions as well yeah, of, after uh, at that time in, in, the 2000, <laughs> in 2009. Uh, the question is, do you, don't you think this as a victory for the Sri Lankan people, the postponing of this particular reporting question? Oh, how, how do you not. do this? Absolutely not. I, I, I say this not due to speculation. Uh, Prince Zaid al Hussein, the UN High Commissioner, wrote to the President of the Human Rights Council saying that this is a one-time only six-month postponement because he has every confidence that thanks to the new government, there will be new sources of information which will permit a stronger report to be presented in September. The so, previous regime had been trying to do this for many, many years. However, no, they were not no, able. no, they that's, were not not true, that's, that's not true, Shamir. That's not true. Manifesto itself shows that, that. We, in 2009, as you know, we defeated the effort. But the, the Rajapaksa administration in the second term gummed up the works and our support <laughs> shrank. But now we have, we don't have a trade-off. Well, we shall do a domestic inquiry and the international inquiry goes away. No, we have given the international inquiry time and space. We have invited, Mangra Samravira has invited the UN uh, working group on disappearances to come to Sri Lanka and gather more information. They are on their way. No, so the, is, the international is, report will be stronger. That is after the pre a presidential commission has been appointed to look into disappearances. You the presidential know. commission is fine. I'm talking about Mandela's official invi uh, invitation to the UN Working Group on Disappearances before the September session where the report will be presented. So they can come over here. Mr. Sumandaran has addressed the press conference. Don't worry you're, about you're, the six months. You're pointing we can out get more information out. You're so pointing a stronger out international report and a domestic inquiry which according to Chandrika Baranayaka Kumaratunga will have the presence of the international community. So it's not even a trade-off. It's a lose-lose scenario. Now, Dr. 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 Dayan Jatilaka is famous for creating doomsday mentality. Now, <laughs> it's very important to say... What is the doomsday mentality yeah. I created? Uh, I said that your no, CFA no, is not going to no, work no, and no, I was right. Uh, and saying, the Tigers no, went no, back to let war. Me, let me explain. Right? Your the pre dogs, your package. Stand, I was right on all of those. President, on the Tigers. President stand is... What is the doomsday mentality? Yeah, let me explain. Yeah. President stand is whoever comes and go. We have given an assurance there won't be an international tribunal or whatever to prosecute Sri Lankan people. That is very clear. That was stated in the elections and also right now it is the policy of the government. Did he say that to David Cameron? David Cameron no, said no, he told the president. So, we are, this is the official position. And the president.